get. All right. So I'm going to keep an eye on the chat. Um, I'll try to um, just keep an eye on it. Let me know if you have a question. Um, and, you know, we'll get through questions or we can do questions at the end, whatever you prefer. But I feel like the thing that'll take up the most time is going to be um, just going through the supplier itself. All right. So obviously my name is Perla. Um, I am one of the gold consultants in the business. Um, this is my first time doing this training because I figured I wasn't sure that there was a training on this. Um, so I personally love pleasant holidays. Um, I don't know if you guys that are familiar with it, um, that have been using it, if you feel the same way, but I really like it. Um, so I'm just going to show you here. Let me just take this off here. Okay. Sorry. Uh, people were like asking to come in the waiting. There's like a waiting room. So I'm just going to take that off. So that way I don't have to be pausing. Okay. So Pleasant holidays. This is what's going to come up when you log in. Okay. Yes. The customer service is really good. You get connected right away. I've never had an issue with them. All right. So when you log into pleasant holidays, this is what it's going to look like. It almost looks very similar to Vax, right? Where it has like the left-hand side, you can see um, that you can build the trip and it'll ask you the different things that you want to book. Right. Um, and then it also allows you to just do like a hotel only. Um, it also allows you here to click on flight, but I will say I verified this morning because I have been trying to register with Airby Pleasant, um, and it never was allowing me to, it was my, my login wasn't working. I contacted them and they apparently do not work with Archer Travel. So I don't know if there's something else that maybe we can register for, um, through Archer that would be, um, you know, equivalent to, um, Airby Pleasant. But um, unfortunately, they do not work with Archer Travel, so that one's out. Um, if we click on activities, let me just log in. Oh, this did it to me this morning. There we go. Okay, so when you register for um, Pleasant Activities, Basically, it's going to allow you very similar to Viator, where you can then book um, activities and excursions for clients. Okay, so that's just what's that what that's going to look like. Obviously, they'll show your commissions up here, any commissions that you have um, booked and done, right? Um, if you just scroll down, you can kind of filter like along the left hand or right hand side. I'm sorry, you can do um, location the type of vendor that you're looking for if you knew, or a category too, right? So this is also very nice, another place for us to look for activities and excursions for our clients other than Viator, right? Um, okay, so if we go to, I'm gonna click here, agent resources. This will allow you to see any type of marketing, resources, so um, downloadable flyers, brochures that you can order, social media toolkit, like it already has like preset photos that you can then post on your um, social media. Agent incentives, so it'll show you any types of incentives that um, Pleasant Holidays will give you, right? So if you um, look at the TRIP Premier Program, um, agents that earn 25000 or more points in a single year. So $250,000 in bookings will be elevated to that trip premiere for the following year. So just a lot of incentives that it gives you, right? All of the points will tell you how much money um, you can then redeem for, because you can then redeem it for your own personal travel too. Um, agent incentives. So this is like um, kind of very similar to Vax where it's like um, earn additional commission if you book with this vendor or something like that. So very similar. It'll just show you um, if there are certain booking bonuses, um, if there's like a free night for every however many rooms you do. Um, so that's where you'll be able to see the agent incentives, group and destination wedding incent incentives. 
obviously very self-explanatory. Um, if you guys have not been here yet for six months and you do not yet have access to sandals, Pleasant Holidays is the one um, vendor that you're able to book sandals through. Um, and you do not need to be here for six months in order to do that because you have already access to Pleasant Holidays. So obviously Sandals has a free wedding um, promotion, right? Um, stay connected. So the sales department or the e-newsletter e sign up and the programs. So the Pleasant Pro Academy, this is new. Um, I actually just started this today because I didn't realize they had it. It's very similar to like, um, like the Disney College of Knowledge or the um, Princess Cruise Line um, like training where it's like specific pleasant holiday training. So after the training, um, they'll give you however many points towards your um, like on the um, trip incentive program, you'll get however many points towards that. Once you have completed and passed their training, you'll then be able to um, earn, I believe, I forget, I, I was reading this this morning, but you'll be able to earn like additional points, like extra points for every booking that you do because you are certified with Pleasant Holidays. Um, one thing I learned with them, which um, is very nice, this commission protection. So Pleasant Holidays, they will protect your commission for any cancellation that's um, that was that they purchased the travel protection plan, the pleasant holidays travel protection plan. So if you purchase travel protection plan through tin leg and not through pleasant holidays, then unfortunately your commission is not protected, right? So these are the, the different specifications. So you would still be getting paid your commission even if your clients ended up canceling because they purchased the pleasant holidays travel protection plan. So that's very nice too. Best price guarantee. So again, very similar to Vax, they will price match. If you find the exact same um, package with everything somewhere else, they will price match. These are all the specifications here, okay? So a lot of tools that are there under agent resources. Um, okay. So obviously along the top here, this, um, Another menu, very similar to Vax. This is the home screen. Any current or recent bookings are going to show up here for you where it says my bookings. Um, vacation deals. So you'll be able to kind of um, filter and search different types of vacation deals depending on the destination, which is nice. So you can kind of see at a glance, you know, $100 off per booking with Hawaii or with Europe, Mexico, right? So that's nice some vacation rentals, um, condos, villas, suites, apartments, and homes. You can do that through here as well. All inclusives, which of course, um, you'll be able to just kind of see what the all inclusive features include. Um, and then you'll be able to specifically narrow down the search to Caribbean, Mexico, all the different all-inclusive resort places. If for whatever reason you just needed some ideas to post like a mock booking, or if you needed, um, or if maybe your client didn't really know where they wanted to go, you can kind of use that tool. Destinations. So this will show you all the destinations that Pleasant Holidays, that with Pleasant Holidays that you'll be able to book. Okay, so again, very similar to Vax. It gives you a very quick overview of the destinations in case you're kind of wondering and you're trying to type in the airport code for the destination and nothing's coming up, then it's probably because it's not a destination that Pleasant Holidays um, features, okay? Group travel. So again, if you have a group request, you will um, submit either one of these um, um, inquiries. Okay. <clears throat> cruises. You can also do cruises through Pleasant Holidays. Um, this you have to then speak with a specialist. It's not like how when we book through Carnival or through Cruising Power, like for Royal Caribbean, where we're able to look for it, look up, look it up ourselves. Um, it has to be done like over the phone. So that's the only, um, that's the only thing. But all of the information here for cruises is listed. 
Also, Pleasant Holidays has a nice online chat. So if for whatever reason you just can't get on the phone and you need just a quick response, you can get on the online chat with them, you know, obviously during their open hours and chat with them. Um, that's really convenient too. But their customer service, like calling that this 866 number, I was able to get through right away the times that I have called. I've never had any issues. Um, so pleasant activities. So this was that link I took you to when I clicked activities. Um, they obviously have a separate phone number, right? Um, but you'll be able to kind of see and kind of filter activities per the location. Okay, this is specifically for Hawaii. Um, but obviously go, clicking on the pleasant activities link will take you to um, where, you, where, where you will be able to search more options and more locations. Does anybody have any questions so far about what we just went through on the top? You can unmute yourself or um, put in the chat, whatever you wanna do. No questions? Okay. Um, if you scroll down on this main screen, obviously you'll be able to see some featured deals kind of at a glance, um, which is nice and also very convenient. Um, and obviously some more promotions. So I wanted to show you, so obviously before we get into doing a search, I wanted to show you what an itinerary, how the itinerary is going to look like once it's booked um, and sent to you. So I'm gonna click on this one here. <clears throat> so they obviously have different colors. So the green means that it's paid in full. The red means that there's still a balance. Um, this guy, Joseph, actually still has about a hundred dollar balance. So I'm surprised it still has it green, but I would assume it's because majority of the booking has been paid for. So when I click on his reservation, this is how it's going to look like. Here's that booking number, right? That's important that I need to for that commission tracking form. Um, I always, um, the itinerary, I always send it to myself, but um, let me actually, I'm going to pull up my email really quick so that I don't need to send my, send the itinerary to myself again. <clears throat> I really like the itineraries that come from Pleasant Holidays because I feel like they're very detailed, especially for the client. So there's one, um, there's two different itineraries when you book a trip with, um, when you book a trip with Pleasant Holidays, it's going to send you both um, a client copy and an agent copy. Let me just put it in here. Pleasant, should be this one. Okay, let me resume sharing. Okay, so you guys should see my email here, right? So this is the email that I received from Pleasant Holidays when I booked for Joseph and his family. So it's gonna come up with two attachments, okay? This first attachment, this is my copy, okay? So it, it'll have all of your client's information here. It has their flight information here up at the top. What I really like about Pleasant Holidays is that once you book the um, flights, they will automatically assign seats for your um, travelers, for your um, clients, which is really nice. So you see the seats listed here, right? Their ticket numbers. This is non-refundable, $200 fee, change fee applies, right? So very detailed. So these are their flights to um, Dominican Republic, okay? Next are their transfers, because they got transfers um, to their um, hotel, to Dreams Onyx, that's where they're staying at. So here it has a very brief description, transfers provided by 
BD experience. This is their phone number and after hours, that's their phone number. Instructions. So these are instructions specifically for the client. After customs and collecting your luggage, please proceed to blah, 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 right? So it tells them very detailed what they're supposed to do. So it's not like a guessing game for your clients when they get there. Here's their stay, their accommodations, right? They're getting two rooms. Confirmation numbers for both rooms. Obviously, this is an all-inclusive resort, so it's just going to include their unlimited luxury, what that includes. They're also receiving a promotion with this room, so um, they'll be receiving a $200 resort credit per room, right? So it just kind of includes in detail what those $200 includes, what they can apply them for. Any special requests I made, so they requested a king bed for each room and they would like for it to be a connecting room, right? So it's a request, it's not um, guaranteed, right? And that's something that's communicated with them. So that's their stay. Here are their transfers back to the airport, okay? So again, provided by BD Travel. These are their instructions. Please reconfirm your return transfer within 48 hours. That's the phone number they should call and they'll be met at the lobby, okay? And then their tickets returning home and here are their seats already picked, okay? So very convenient. It has all of that for the clients, right? So this is travel requirements and restrictions that change frequently. Any additional information would be listed there. That was their total reservation cost. This is obviously my copy because it has my commissions listed. There will be a client copy that was also emailed to me. So they'll always send you two emails. Well, usually I have them send me their, their reservation because you can have it sent directly to the client if you want to, but I opt to just have it sent directly to me. So um, their total commission, my total commissions was listed here. So obviously I'm not gonna send them this, right? I would have sent them um, their own personal copy. So I personally like this. Theirs looks very, like literally identical to this. The only thing different is that it doesn't have all this breakdown of numbers here. It literally will tell them their total reservation, how much they paid already for the res like for the um like they paid or he paid already fifty seven hundred dollars and he just owes a hundred bucks that's due next week um so it'll just show them their total reservation costs how much they have paid toward the trip and um any balance that's due okay any questions with the um itinerary how the itinerary looks I have a question. Sure. Um, I mean, this might be a silly one, but uh, I'm not sure what what they say. Whenever they say all inclusive, what does that mean? All inclusive. Yes. Oh, all inclusive. That means meals and drinks, like alcohol, beverages, and drinks. Uh, and um, I'm sorry, I said drinks and um, meals, food. So usually, okay, so it's, uh -huh, yeah, so usually and all inclusive are they're usually in like the tropical areas like Caribbean resorts, um, and then they will also include some type of um, some resorts will include also some entertainment, um, water sports like um, water skiing jet skis, snorkeling, right? A lot of them will include a lot of those things that are not, that the clients do not have to pay out of pocket for. Um, okay. Depending on the type of resort that they're staying at, they will let them know it'll be listed under the all-inclusive if there are any exceptions. Sometimes some resorts have, um, like maybe they have five uh, restaurants on, like on site, but only four of them are all-inclusive. And one of them, is um, like a top premier restaurant that clients are then requ required to pay out of pocket for if they would like to dine there. So um, typically though, all-inclusive includes literally everything. Okay, that makes sense, okay. thank you. You're welcome. Any questions at all with that? And if I wanted, if Joseph called me, then I wanted to make a payment. I would just click make a payment. Um, and once this loads, it'll take me to a very similar checkout screen. 
um, as it does in when you're actually booking a trip. Um, where I will be able to then put in his information, how much he wants to pay, right? So here's all of that information, how much total payment is due, how many points I will receive for this trip, right? And I'll be able to choose payment options, card. And what's nice, it, it saves the billing address from the last time, okay? And I really like, um, Pleasant Holidays, how it breaks down the um, payment information for you. So you can see, of course, you see a booking of $5,800 and you're like, oh, that's a good, that's a good amount. Like how much commission am I going to receive? But then you'll be able to see that there's certain dollar amounts that are commissionable and non-commissionable. So you're only going to receive your commission based off of the commissionable amount. Okay. So I really like that breakdown because sometimes like in VAX, for, for example, it just shows you your commission. And it could be like 50 bucks on a trip that's like $3,000 or something. I'm being dramatic, but you know what I mean? And it's like, well, why am I only going to get $50 on this $3,000 trip? That doesn't make sense, right? So um, we, I really like this breakdown because at least it makes you understand. And Pleasant Holidays also gives you an opportunity to increase or to add a certain dollar amount to your um, commission. So I'll show you guys that too. Um, any questions at all about what I just put? Um, so because Sandals is its own separate vendor. So that's just Sandals requirement to book directly through their vendor. Um, it's six months. Um, but through Pleasant Holidays, you would then have access to it because it's not... You're booking through Pleasant Holidays as the vendor, not Sandals. Okay, so we're just going to do a fake trip, okay? Just so you guys can see, it's very similar to Vax. It's very similar to um, some of the other vendors that you guys may use to build and book a trip, right? But I just like that Pleasant Holidays... Um, I don't know if you guys if you guys have noticed. I personally use Vax a lot. Vax will always show you. Um, Vax will always show you uh, like the cheaper airlines, like Frontier, Spirit. Um, Pleasant Holidays does not. They will not show you the cheaper airlines. They will always show show you like the better airlines, right? So a lot of times that's what clients would like. And you can kind of compare and contrast if you find something better, right? Both Pleasant Holidays and Vax price match. So if for whatever reason you find something on Pleasant Holidays that you like better, but you want to book it through Vax because maybe the commission is higher or for whatever other reason you just prefer Vax, then just ask for that price match. All right. So we're just going to do flight and hotel. I'm just going to do the closest airport to me. I'm in um, Pennsylvania. Um, in Brightingsville, Philadelphia is like an hour for me. So I'll just do Philadelphia and we're gonna do go to Jamaica. And we're gonna do, and then it'll update to like the, um, it's a promotion, right? So depending on whichever location you're going to, um, it'll be a promotion. Now, Pleasant Holidays, before I continue, also allows you to do multiple destinations, um, very similar to VAX. I'll probably just cover that in the next training next week. Um, I'll probably just do like a multi-destination um, booking. We'll just do a very simple one for today. So we're just going to do some random dates in March for a week. We're going to do two adults. And you can filter to direct nonstop flights if you wanted. Choose the airline if you wanted. Choose the class if you knew they wanted a higher class, right? So we're just going to leave it at that and search for flights and hotels. Now, I don't know if it's me, if it's my connection or if it's my computer, but I've noticed that Pleasant Holidays is a little slower in comparison to VAX. Um, so that's just my observation. Um, if you guys are following along, I don't know if you'll notice that too, but okay. So I'm going to let this load because sometimes it takes a little bit to load. So see a Sandals Resort comes up. 
and it's still loading because along the left hand side here you'll be able to see more of a search here like the star ratings if you want to filter total price hotel name location from one of these or if you want to look for a specific area right if you want all-inclusive couples only right so very similar when you're doing vax you can also filter your results here right so of course it's going to filter to our picks meaning most preferred okay um we can just do a sandals location they have a lot of sandals locations here on um pleasant holidays all right so we'll do this one sandals royal caribbean all right so this is the couples only adults only resort okay so this is how it's going to look obviously a different look than vax right because vax will usually show you preset flights here you don't know what the flights are it just says you can customize the next step but i want to view or change them right so let's view or change the flights and you can do whatever step you want if you wanted to if you wanted to view the resort the resort information first you could um if you wanted to choose the flights first you could okay so it already has non-stop flights so that's perfect i'm going to leave it like that and this is with american airlines these are their return flights again american airlines non-stop we'll keep these okay so now it's going to take us over to the the total package details okay but you want to look you want to see more information about the resort so we're going to click the resort here's the flights that are that are that we picked right some photos of the resort the photos do ha are a better quality than vax i will say i'm not a big fan of the um I'm not a big fan of the photos on on Vax. Um, okay, so obviously these are different types of rooms um, and it'll tell you the location. Where is the um, room going to be located, right? And obviously you can see different um, room types, okay? So let's just do this Crystal Lagoon, Honeymoon, Butler Suite. Then it's going to take you back to the package details where we were before. Okay. Total price, average per person. Here are our flight details, our resort information with the room that we selected. If we select room details, it's going to show us again the location, where it's located, features of the room. Um, again, if we were doing like a mock booking, then I would look more information into this room and um, resort. But we're not, we're just gonna do like a pretend booking. Um, bedding preferences. So if this was, I don't know, maybe two friends going, um, you know, you could always maybe put uh, two beds or something. Um, and again, it tells you they're sent directly to the hotel, but it's not a guarantee. So it's something that you always just wanna communicate with your clients that you can put a request in, um, but, it's not guaranteed, okay? You can add any special requests. So like if you know that um, maybe it's an older couple that they need a handicap type of room or maybe they want upper level views, upper level floor, right? So this is a honeymoon couple. Um, let's say repeat customer celebrating birthday, something like that, right? So again, something that the hotel will receive, they'll take that into consideration regardless if they receive this request or not. I always end up contacting the resort and letting them know, hey, I have clients staying with you these dates, please. Is there um, a complimentary amenity that can be added on from me type of thing, right? If for whatever reason you wanted to change and keep this package, but just change the hotel, you can do that from here, okay? And it'll that way, it'll, keep, it'll still keep your, um, your flights locked in, okay? So 
it's going to tell you what prices include, what prices do not include. Okay. So again, very similar to VAX, very self-explanatory. This is a travel agency fee that you can put. So this is where you can then add additional um, to your commissions. But I'll show you, obviously from here, we don't see what the commissions are. So if we click continue booking this package on the next screen, we'll be able to then add protection. So comparing VAX and Pleasant Holidays, you'll notice that the protection plans are similar. They offer two options, full cash back or travel credit. That's what the FTC stands for, future travel credit. Obviously, one is cheaper than the other, very similar to VAX. But if you remember from using VAX, the prices for the travel protection are a little bit more expensive. Okay. Um, obviously, you'll be able to just click here and see um, just more information, what it um, includes. Okay. But it is more expensive in comparison to VAX. So let's just put cancel for any reason. This is where you can add the transfers. So there is no um, cost for transfers. It's a courtesy transfer. Um, but let's say they wanted a private transfer or a private luxury transfer because this is a honeymoon couple. They want to splurge and they want the best experience, right? So then you can select for both, right? Because you need airport to hotel and then vice versa, hotel to airport. And it's $47 per person. Okay. Yes, I do, Erica. I use Tin Leg a lot. I always offer um, travel protection through the vendor. So through um, Pleasant Holidays, Vax, or whatever, I always let them know how much the cost is. But then I also tell them, hey, I have um, a link, a special link. Um, and the reason why I advertise Tin Leg a lot is because I personally, like I've used it for my personal travel. And I really like that it gives you like several options to choose from. Like the travel protection through Vax or Pleasant Holidays or wherever, it's literally just two options, full travel credit or cash refund, right? And it literally is just like a base package. Whereas on Tin Leg, you can kind of customize and pick and choose. Well, I don't need it to include sickness or I don't need it to include cancel for any reason, right? So your price is going to always vary on Tin Leg. So I always advertise it like that as such. And my clients prefer to um, look at different options, especially if it's a, if it's a large booking, right? You know, they're not going to want to add an additional $200 per person for travel protection if maybe they could get it for cheaper. So um, also um, Pleasant Holidays will add on some recommended attractions and activities. So if you wanted to add on, they'll always have like a few here listed, right? You can see more and they'll add some more here. Okay. But if for whatever reason, your clients didn't want to um, add anything at the moment, they didn't have to, um, you could always either book them through Viator or through the pleasant activities, right? But this just gives you an option. Like it, they have tons of options here, right? So we'll just skip the activities. And if you wanted to click one, obviously, you just click the little box and then the request date, what date you want them to, they, they will be going on, right? Because you have to indicate the date of the reservation and then how many total people, and it's two people. Okay, so total before customization, this is the customization that we added. So we added the private luxury transfers, cancel for any reason. We added a total of $586 in customization. So this is their new grand total. So if we hit detailed payment breakdown, this is where, and since it's loading, this is where we'll be able to see the breakdown. Very similar to what the reservation looked like for me on for my client's reservation, right? Where it shows you the commissionable amount, non-commissionable amount, total commission, $1,200, trip, uh, trip points, how many points I'll be able to accumulate from this um, booking. Um, they'll need to pay $16.89 today to reserve. 
And then the remaining $8,100 payment will be due um, in January. Um, I did it through Archer, Wendy. There should be um, in the Travel Cafe, I think there's a link for it. I think it's literally right on the main page of Travel Cafe. You can click it and then register for it. And I think it's instant. You don't need to wait for, um, for any like access or like granting of access or anything like that. Um, you're welcome. Um, okay, so if for whatever reason you're like, I wanted to add something here, right? You could always add, let's say you being dramatic and wanted to add $500, update price. There's always an admin charge that is going to be added on to the service. Okay, just hit okay. So now the price increases, obviously very similar to VAX. Now, when we go back to the detailed payment breakdown, obviously now you see a new line, net agency fee of 465 minus that admin charge. And then your commission is still here, okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so um, any questions with that? Any questions with the detailed payment breakdown at all? Okay, so um, we'll leave it at that, okay? Now you can always create a quote. If you wanted to create a quote and just review the trip, here's the package details or the itinerary, right? Package rules. You then just hit agree and continue. And from here, when creating a quote, you can send this to yourself Here's the quote number. Um, I mean, they're gonna automatically send me an email, I guess. Um, or you can send this to, oh, they just sent it to me. Or you can send this to a client from here, okay? Um, oh, geez, it took me out. Hold on. Okay, so here's what the quote would look like very similar to um, what the uh, reservation looked like or reservation confirmation looked like for my clients, right? But it doesn't have any um, information, like their information, right? So I personally, there are some people that like to do this, that like to send quotes like this over to clients. I personally don't. Um, I have my own way of sending over proposals to clients, um, but that way, um, this is something that was sent to me. So obviously I'm, I see the total commissions here, but if I wanted to send it to my clients, I wonder if I can just pull this up. If I wanted to send this to my clients, then I could, okay. So just personal preference if you ever wanted to do that. Okay, so here's the itinerary. So let's say I wanna book this, okay? So I'm gonna book this quote. Now, obviously when you create a quote, it's nice because it saves it for you, right? So now you have this quote number that if for whatever reason your clients are like, oh my gosh, Perla, I love this, let's book it. Now you can um, pull this up again through Pleasant Holidays. You don't, you don't need to do the whole search again, okay? So let's book this quote. So that way you guys can see the process, the checkout process, it's very simple. Sorry, this is so slow for me sometimes. Okay, so it's gonna pull up the reservation exactly how we left it before it kicked me out. Okay, so here's the flights the hotel with the honeymoon butler suite. We're gonna continue booking, cancel for any reason, 
the private luxury. So everything was saved for you. Okay. Um, how long is this good for? Um, if you're sending this over to a client, the most I would say would be 24 hours. Not that it's anywhere that's advertised that um, prices could change. Like not that it's not that it says on pleasant holidays that it's only good for 24 hours. The only reason why I personally would say 24 hours is because prices can change. You know, obviously, as you guys all know, booking travel, prices change on a daily, right? So you don't want to say, oh yeah, it's good for three days. And then on the fourth day, or the third day, they're like, oh yeah, Pearl, I want to book. And then now the price is $1,500 more, right? And then they're going to be like, well, I thought the price was still good. You know, if you at least say 24 hours and then they get back to you and like, they're like, oh no, we still need more time, blah, blah, blah. You can be like, oh, fortunately the price is still the same. I was still able to get you the same price. I was able to lock it in for you, you know? So that way you can kind of, you know, yes, prices and you just kind of let them know prices do have are subject to change after those 24 hours. I cannot guarantee anything, right? That's just usually what I say to clients. So who will be traveling? We're going to put in some fake names here. I guess I'll just put my name. I'll put my information so that way you guys can see. Um, you can put their passport information here if you wanted to, but again, it's optional. Same thing with VAX. It's not required in order for you to continue the booking. And same thing with the TSA number, frequent flyer program. You can always put that. They can still claim their points or their miles for their, um, you know, if they had like an American Airlines, wherever it is, like if they had like American Airlines number or something, or if even the Sandals loyalty program, you could do that too, right? Any special requests? Um, obviously, honeymoon couple, repeat customer. If they needed a wheelchair or something elderly, right? You can put all of that here. Just put my husband's information. So you guys can see at the end. Okay. Continue to payment. Oh, oh oops. Okay. All right. Here is the payment where we're going to review the trip. We're going to review clients' um, traveler information, right? If you needed to make any changes to the names, you could still do that from here, right? So nothing is set in stone. Here's the package details and also itinerary. So very similar itinerary is just going to give you literally from start to finish what is going to happen first what are they going to do next so they're going to go to the airport then they're going to get their transfer then they're going to check in then they're going to check out and they're going to do their transfer and then they're going to go back home okay that's just the difference between the itinerary and the package details whereas the package details it's literally going to give you round trip flights hotel information transfer cancel for any reason okay that's just the difference rules and restrictions so same thing with um vax where it has on at the bottom all those different um like terms and conditions or or whatever like final things to make sure that you are um communicating to your client right so restrictions there's a 200 dollars $200 cancel fee once the tickets have been issued. So I always communicate this with clients. Name changes are not permitted once booked. Please make sure that you are telling me your full government name that is on your passport, right? Same thing with their flight to flight back home from Jamaica, right? The hotel restrictions, cancellations made 30 to 15 days prior to arrival will be charged at 50%, right? Anything less than that will be non-refundable. So I'm always just very generally giving them the main pieces of this um, section. So that way they're aware of it. And also at the same time, once they get the copy of their reservation, it's not any news to them. They're like, okay, yeah, Perla did go over that. We're good. We're not gonna, you know, our names are good, all that stuff, right? All balances are due 45 days prior to departure. So if they're wondering like, oh, why is my booking due, when did it, when did it say January 21st or something like that? So why do I have to pay now? And then in January 21st, it's due when we don't leave until March. 
well, balances are due 45 days prior to departure. Those are the rules of the vendor, right? You're not making up the rules. Okay. Um, any last minute reservations? So again, it just kind of tells you very similar things to cancellations and refunds, unless if they purchased the full travel credit or um, the um, travel protection for the full travel refund. So these are any cancellation fees that may apply, okay? Changes after departure, again, cancellation fees. So a lot of fees, right? So agree and continue. And then here's that screen. Again, it looks very similar to the screen that I took you guys to, to make a, a final payment on my client's reservation, right? Here's their total amount. If you wanted to see the trip details, again, you could. Three options. Pay the full amount, pay the minimum, we can hold. So there's that for sure answer, Aaron. We can hold it until the 17th, so three days. And again, reservation is subject to cancellation and prices and availability are subject to change if there is no payment that's made by the 17th, okay? Um, so something different, a different feature than VAX, right? VAX doesn't allow you to hold anything without anything um, paid, right? So this is a nice feature that they have. Primary documents will be sent to travel agency. Phone number, I always put my phone number, email, it's always my email, okay? Yes, it is. I personally, I've heard a lot of people say that they don't like Vax because they feel like it's very outdated and I love it. I've never had any issues with it, but in comparison to Pleasant Holidays, Pleasant Holidays is a little bit more like modern, you know, in comparison to Vax. So I definitely see why people have an issue with Vax sometimes. Um, and that's it. So I always just change my phone number because the phone number here, this is Archer's number. It's always going to default to Archer's number. So I always just put my phone number and the email should always be your email, right? Um, that's the email that you want on file for all of the reservation um, updates or anything like that to come directly to you and not to your client, okay? Now, if you want it, you can also take PayPal, right? If you want it, um, pay the minimum, minimum amount due now. Um, anything greater than this amount, either this amount at a minimum or anything greater, okay? And then their billing information, if you were to process the payment, billing information, um, and this little um, advisory on transportation of hazardous materials, okay? Um, and then that's it, purchase. And then from there, you'll be able to get the confirmation booking. Your reservation um, will be emailed to you. You'll get two copies. Um, I always send the client copy to myself. I never send it directly to them because I want to make sure that everything looks good, okay? And again, similar to Vax, you can add another card. You have to fill this in first, but you can add multiple forms of payment. It doesn't need to all be put on one card. Any questions at all, guys, about Vax? I'm, I'm not Vax, I'm sorry. Pleasant holidays. You're welcome. Um, that's pretty much it with pleasant holidays. Um, I like, um, like Aaron said, it is very user-friendly. I guess you could say that in comparison to, um, Vax. Um, I do really like the features that it has in terms of, um, you know, holding the payment or holding the reservation for three days. Um, and the different activities, I feel like the activities are a little bit more than, than what Vax has to offer. And then here's that trip we just created. Obviously this is, this was just a quote that I did, right? And this will eventually fall off because there's no booking that was made. Any other questions at all guys? Did that make sense? Did that help for those that were a little unfamiliar with Pleasant holidays. Good. You're welcome. Okay, so if nobody has any other questions, um, I have, I'll be doing this training again next 
Wednesday, the 21st, and then again, the 28th. Um, but I'll be doing something different. I'll, I'll do the multiple destinations. So if you guys wanted to come then, you definitely join me then. Um, thank you so much for coming. I recorded this and I will be posting it. Um, I'll post it in the, um, in the Discord chat later this evening. Then once I actually finally get it uploaded to my YouTube and stuff like that, I'll post it in case if anybody needs to go back. Okay. All right, let me stop.